Hello PP Wami Yan Mars, I know this isn't my usual style of video but I figured that this was a topic which deserved being talked about. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get along with it. Joe Mamet underscore real, also known as Addy, is a prolific Twitter account with around 600 followers. She usually posts about experiences in her real life and can be seen playing Roblox with her friends frequently as a part of the podcast Fazbear's Goofballs. This podcast, being founded months ago by Addy and myself, has yet to release its first episode but with this recent controversy, maybe that's for the best. This all started when Addy and Joby and I were playing Roblox. This was around 10 11 30 at night so we were all pretty tired but I still decided to hop on. This would be one of my biggest mistakes as this showed me the kind of person Addy is. We began playing a Roblox game which I will keep anonymous. During this game, Addy seemed off. She wasn't talking to anyone and seemed agitated after getting stuck on a bench. Joby and I continued playing normally until, I had to log off and hit the hay. Later, I had difficulty sleeping so I logged onto Twitter and saw a shocking reply. Addy had taken some of my statements from the game out of context and was blackmailing me with them. She wanted $100 or she would ban my Roblox account. I'll leave the photo on the screen while I discuss this. Blackmail is wrong. No matter what the other person does, you have no right to hold it above someone's head for monetary value. It's amoral and wrong. Addy saw things differently however. Instead of apologizing, it seems Addy chose to double down and continue harassing me. This whole incident has left me more than a little startled. This isn't the only incident of Addy's unacceptable behavior however. I will not show screenshots as none were saved from this incident but I'm sure Joby would back up these claims. A few months ago, before the formation of Fazbear's Goofballs, my friend Joby got a FNAA poster. One side was an American Freddy variant believed to be originated from the mobile game FNAA VR. The other side bore Mangle, a notable antagonist from the game FNAA 2. Joby was known to be scared of these animatronics and Addy used this to try and get the poster for herself. She would constantly warn Joby that the animatronics were real and would leave the poster with murderous intent. I tried to interject but Addy told me to buzz off. This whole incident really shows the kind of person we're dealing with here. There have been theories floating around that Addy has been hacked but I would like to take the time here to discredit them. Addy, despite her behavior as of recent, is very clever. She is an expert in computer technologies and I highly doubt she would get hacked. If anything, she might be the one doing the hacking but that's a video for another day. Her tweets are consistent with her old style of tweeting. I DM'd Addy privately to try and get some confirmation on these claims and she has said that she hasn't been hacked. I don't know about you guys but to me, that's pretty damning evidence against the idea of a hacker. Addy has taken multiple Twitter pictures of geese. A goose is a bird of any of several waterfowl species in the family Anatidae. This group comprises the genera Anser, the grey geese and white geese, and Branta, the black geese. Some other birds, mostly related to the shell ducks, have goose as part of their names. More distantly related members of the family Anatidae are swans, most of which are larger than true geese, and ducks, which are smaller. Rumors have been circulating that Addy has been maliciously making comments about these geese and manipulating them using bread. I have reached out to the geese for an interview but I have yet to receive an answer as of writing this. I guess we'll have to leave this point inconclusive. I'll leave you with this. After what you've heard so far, do you think Addy won't manipulate these geese? In conclusion, I hope that Addy can learn from these mistakes and come back as a bigger and better Twitter account for it. I didn't make this video to drag anyone down but I refused to be silent any longer and let people I once considered friends walk all over me. With that being said, that's all for today and I hope you all have an amazing day. Won't you stay with me?